Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to carve this pumpkin. <laughs> um, originally I was supposed to do this with my best friend, but he is working. And then I was going to do it with my other really close friend, but <laughs> she isn't able to get a babysitter. So I'm going to do it by myself. So, before we get started, I'll let you know what I've got going on here. I've got a drop cloth on my dining room table, a giant blue bowl because my roommate wants the pumpkin seeds so that he can make seasoned pumpkin seeds, and I have a cup full of tools, although I don't know why I put them all knife up. And I have a sharpie because I'm going to freehand a design on here and then carve it out because there was nothing that was really calling to my name, so I did get a very tall pumpkin. I know I can't get it all in frame, but this is a very tall, big pumpkin. So it's going to be hard for me to show you guys what I'm doing at all times, but I will try my best. It was either I be in frame or the complete pumpkin be in frame, and I couldn't decide which was probably more convenient. Um, and then also I apologize if you can hear noise in the background. It is incredibly warm in my house because it had gotten cold here in Michigan, so I turned on the heat, and today was a random, warm, nice day, and it is almost 78 degrees in my house, and I turned off the furnace so that it would cool off, but it's not cooling off very quickly, so I have the window right here open, so you could probably see, like, my bushes outside and stuff. Yeah, and you're probably also going to see the dogs here and there because I'm sure once I start cutting this they're going to be very curious especially our newer dog so let's get into this pumpkin carving now honestly I don't know how long this is going to take so there's a huge chance I'm going to edit a lot of this out I guess we will see I carve a pumpkin every year and I have since I was a kid and I probably always will no matter how old I get I don't think this knife is going to do Maybe if I hold it like this. Oh, yeah, that might work. Watch me struggle. I was going to tell you guys my favorite horror or Halloween or thriller um, themed shows that I like. And it honestly changes quite often. But lately, I have really been into The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And obviously it's a remake of the classic show, which is also a comic, which is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. But only this show, which is a Netflix original, is a lot more horror themed. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, it's a horror themed one. And I really like it, although I'm on the third season right now, I believe. Yeah, I'm on season three, and that one, I'm having a little trouble getting through it, to be quite honest. Like, it's slowed down in pace a little too much for my liking. Oh, you want to say hi? Come here. <laughs> He's a very needy boy. Yes. Pet you now before I have pumpkin on my hands. That's the other one getting jealous, which is my corgi. She doesn't like when I give any other dog attention but her. It's not allowed in her eyes. What, oh, baby? Oh. And then this third boy is my brother's dog. So we have three dogs in this house. Um, the new one is my roommate's dog. He is a rescue. And then mine is the grumpy corgi. She's the only girl, and again, I, I'm not allowed to socialize with the other dogs without her getting mad because all the attention is hers. But anyways, as I was saying, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I suggest you guys check it out. Like I said, the season three is a lot slower to get through than seasons one and two, but I feel like it'll be worth it once you get past the parts that are a little tiring. Another one of my favorite shows that is horror themed that I, well, I guess it's debatable on whether it's horror themed or not. And this one should come as no surprise because I feel like it is a lot of people's favorites. And that is Stranger Things. 
I have rewatched it, I don't know how many times at this point. I really, really, really like it. I cannot wait for season four. Um, I would say my favorite season out of that one is probably, I like the original season, but I think season two. Yeah, season two might be my favorite. Season three, I wasn't sure I was gonna like because it seemed like it was a lot about like couples and romantic stuff, but honestly, it wasn't all that much once you got to like the meat of it. Yeah, that one I really like. I got my top all cleaned and ready to go. So at least there's that. Now the fun part of the inside, which I, yeah, I definitely cut myself a really small hole. I'm gonna have to open that up a bit. But yeah, other shows that I like, um, I might just stick with Netflix for the time being. I really like the end of the fucking world, which I know it's censored out on there, but I really, really like that. And they came out with a second season not too long ago, and I think I watched the entire thing in a day. I was glad they did a second season, and they left it on such a cliffhanger, which I won't spoil for you guys. If you haven't seen it, definitely suggest it. I used to really like The Walking Dead, but then after a while, the seasons kind of all just like blended together for me and I think I made it to season five maybe and then I just I had had my fill and then oh, I had so many tv shows I thought of uh, I started watching this one that's geared towards younger kids it's called daybreak kind of on the fence about there's not a whole lot of stuff that's coming to mind right now so maybe I won't talk about tv shows it's a very deep cavernous pumpkin you know I'm sure you've noticed my hair is a little damp. I have no makeup on it. It's because I took a shower before I did this. And now I'm questioning that choice. But now I'm regretting it because I'm getting pumpkin everywhere. I even probably have some on my face right now because I flung it at myself. My roommate's pumpkin, which is still out on our front porch, is huge. He brought it home from work. He works in the produce department of a store. And so he got the best pick of the pumpkins. And this thing is monstrous. I mean, I couldn't even lift it when he brought it home. I was like, what the hell? And he only paid like five bucks for it, which I was like, I am struggling with a lot of this pumpkin guts because of how small of a hole I cut. My whole forearm doesn't go all the way in there. That's as far as I can go. Fun stuff do I have. You know what we can do? A little chit chat. I don't know how your guys' October is going. I've been kind of curious to see if they're going to try to do trick-or-treating this year. I haven't really heard much on whether it's canceled or not. I'm kind of curious what you guys think about the whole thing. Like should they have trick-or-treating? Should they not? I feel like there's probably a safe way to do it, but you know, that's a lot of exchanging of stuff from one person to another. And I feel like a lot could happen. I mean, yeah, people could potentially wear masks, but there's no kids that are gonna wait until they get home to touch their candy and, you know, sanitize everything. I guarantee if they're like any normal kid when they're getting that candy, especially if they're trick-or-treating by themselves, they're eating candy while they're out trick-or-treating. And so it's not really, plausible. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'll figure something out. But yeah, I haven't heard very much what they're doing. I know the plans I have is, because I've got some people in my little quarantine bubble that I'm actually able to see because uh, we all kind of only hang out with each other, so. But I have a few of my friends that are going to come over, and I'm sure you guys have seen, which I'm curious as to what you think about it, that they did a sequel to The Craft. I am pretty doubtful that I'm going to like it. Um, I have a problem with people making sequels to cult class. I feel like, you know, they're cult classics for a reason and sometimes it's better to just leave it as a one-off and let it be its be what it is. But you know, people make movies seem to not have any new ideas and keep recycling shit. So I'm kind of irritated about it. And from what I saw from the trailer, it's missing that like soul that the craft has. You know what I mean? Like craft is like, it had a darkness and an edge to it, but not in like a, a real campy way. Like, I mean, yeah, the special effects back then weren't the best because you know, that movie's from the nineties, but from the trailer, that's a lot of like Hollywood sparkles type magic that they got going on and I'm not really about it <laughs> but I mean we'll see maybe I'll be shockingly surprised and maybe just the trailer they made wasn't that great but I like I said I'm not too hopeful about it 
and I feel like when people go out of their way to make these sequels to classic, it takes away from the original because then it's like, ugh, look what they did to the franchise type thing. Like a perfect example is The Crow. The original, yeah, some of the lines in it are cheesy, but the movie itself, it's a very original story. Like, you know, which that one is also based off of a graphic novel. The thing about The Crow is, you know, especially when it came out, there wasn't really anything like it. So it was unique and that's why a lot of people liked it. And it was actually really sad because the lead actor actually died on set, which is really fucking sad. Years later, they went on to make, I think, they either made three or four sequels to that movie and they were all pretty terrible. Like, I mean, terrible acting, terrible writing, and I wish they would have just left it alone. Then it's like, you know, stop. <laughs> it was fine the way it was. Why did you guys have to go and mess with it? But they did. Um, another good example is Donnie Darko. The thing that made Donnie Darko so cool is that that movie is wild and a lot of people interpreted diff a lot of different things about Donnie Darko, like time travel and shit like that but they need a sequel to it. It did not do well, not surprisingly, and it's just, it's not very well done at all. And it's another one of those ones where they should have just left it alone, but no, they had to go and screw with it. Kind of got off track, didn't I? The Craft sequel is coming out on the 28th, so a couple days later, me and a few of my friends are going to have a little bit of a movie binge night and probably have a few drinks, but we're gonna watch the original first and then we're gonna to watch the remake. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I don't know if I'm not, but I have three friends coming over. Uh, one of them has already been in my videos, which is Madison. So she's the one that went geocaching with me. You guys watched that video at all? So she will be here. And then my friend Lee, who lives about three and a half hours away from me, who has only been hanging out with her and her boyfriend and pretty much no one else. And I haven't seen her in a while and I miss her so she's gonna be here and then my friend Jasmine who lives right down the street from me So yeah, I mean it should be fun. I'm excited just to be hanging out with them quite honestly um, I see Jasmine and Madison quite regularly. I think a lot of us are missing social interaction right now So it'll be nice. Yeah, like I said if we end up kind of vlogging that you guys will see that What else do I have planned? I've already gone to the cider mill once and I did want to vlog that but we went to a smaller one and because of everything going on they didn't have a good season so they didn't really have much in there the place was like completely empty more or less except for cider and donuts they usually have a bunch of other stuff though so i figure next week i'm going to go to a bigger one that has their own cider mill brewery which is called blake's i don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of that you guys unless you're from michigan you probably haven't heard of the cider mill but if you ever had blake's hard cider it's made here in michigan and it's made at the cider mill so i know my roommate and my best friend really want to go there just to get some hard cider it's actually a very big place they have a lot going on there and they also have um zombie paintball and a haunted hayride and a haunted barn i believe so i think that's the one we are going to go to which i'm stoked about i think my pumpkin is all cleared out quite slimy. I hear my washing machine shaking downstairs and it's gotten a bit concerned. So if you hear if you hear some weird loud noises, it's my washing machine. Alright, so yeah, I'm really curious to hear what you guys have going on this October. I think other than that movie night and going to the cider mill, I don't think I really have much else planned. I mean, to be honest with you, my work kind of takes up the majority of my time. Fortunately, I'm making it very difficult to have much of a social life, but who knows, maybe I'll end up finding something else fun to do. But yeah, the Cider Mill and that movie mini marathon are probably the only things I really have planned. And again, my friend Madison is supposed to be coming out, I think either tomorrow or the day after, so we might do like a horror movie marathon while she's here. Um, I kind of have been debating I'm going rando nowadays, which I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's this app that'll give you like random coordinates to go to based on what you hope to like manifest. And I've seen a lot of crazy videos and I've also seen a lot of videos where things haven't really happened and it's been boring or what have you. So I don't know if I'm actually going to go do that or not. I know I went one time with Madison and it 
had us go through just a, an intersection like where these two roads met and it was that's all it was was just an intersection so it was like okay this is one dangerous because we're gonna get hit by a car and nothing was really there we're we trying to manifest i think a cat we wanted to see a cat and there was definitely no cat i'm just doing a traditional jack-o-lantern face because i don't know what else to do and i am making him a little goofy though with his teeth he'll have some character but yeah so i might go rando nodding i don't know it doesn't really seem all that exciting quite honestly uh if i do though i'm gonna record it because that way if something cool does happen i can share it with you guys i'm gonna show you the face i'm gonna aim for here if that's showing up on camera or not it's just like a regular classic jack-o-lantern face but so yeah if i go random nodding i will take you guys with me i know madison has gone a couple times though and she's actually gone with my best friend because believe it or not which i may have mentioned this in a video before don't know if i have my two best friends are actually cousins so devin and madison are related and they actually live together it's about an hour and a half from me and not only that but Devin used to live here. Uh, that's how me and him became so close since he was one of my roommates and so we obviously spent a ton of time together and became best friends and then his cousin Madison uh, was over here all the time because of him and also because she's dating my current roommate Tyler so she's here a lot to him which means I get to hang out with her quite a bit. There's that bit of knowledge oh it's funny that my two closest friends are cousins and they have very similar personalities i don't know if that's because they're related or what but they're both very funny madison's a little more responsible than devon is but i think that's mostly because she's got two twin boys she's kind of got to be responsible plus it works out perfectly like i don't have a lot of female friends that i'm close with believe it or not a lot of my friends are male but you know i'm still i still like to talk about stuff that devin probably doesn't want to talk about because he's a guy so me and him versus me and madison we definitely have a different friendship completely uh because there's stuff i can talk to madison with that i can't talk to devin about and vice versa both are very caring people and i love hanging out with both of them they're both pretty adventurous. I would say Devin is slightly more adventurous than she is, though. I could literally call Devin right now and be like, hey, let's drive to Indiana or something. And he would be like, okay. He's just down for anything for the most part, which, you know, I love spontaneity. Our friendship is definitely built on a lot of that. Like that vlog I did where me and him went up north, that trip was not very pre-planned. That was pretty much a spontaneous idea and that's just how it is like we made a trip to Ohio a year or two ago and I think that was only like two or three days prior that we planned that um and it was because Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie were doing the Lords of Chaos tour and we couldn't see them here in Michigan because by the time we got the chance to get tickets the tickets had sold out so we were just gonna not go but then like somebody had brought up the idea well you know he's there playing in ohio at this place called cuyahoga falls which is not too far and we thought about it and we we're like you know what fuck it let's go to ohio so we bought a ticket for the show that was like two days later we booked a hotel to stay in for the night which i think i was the only one that really slept and i barely slept because we did quite a bit of drinking me not as much as the others because one of us had to stay sober to drive home but while we were out there we also went to the cuyahoga falls park which is beautiful and it's funny because when i used to think of ohio i used to just think of like open cornfields and stuff but cuyahoga falls is beautiful there the park has a lot of forests and one of the places we went in there was called ledges and it had a lot of um rocks you could climb on and it was massive. They also have like a bat cave you can check out there and lots of trails. So, I mean, we had a lot of fun while we were there. Before we drove back to Michigan, we checked out the park because, you know, we're already there. And yeah, that trip was planned in a day or two notice. So that is 
just the type of people we are, I guess. And I want to go on more trips, but it's hard for me to get away from work to go do anything ever. That's half the reason. We can't just get up and go. His work is a little more flexible for that, because I mean, for the longest time he wasn't working because of the pandemic, they were closed. And I mean, he's gone back to work now, but he can definitely um, get time off a lot easier than I can, just because the type of work we do compared to what he's doing. But nonetheless, um, I don't know if I like how this is turning out, but it's too late to turn back now, so I guess I'm just going to have to deal with them. Anyways, let's see what else can I tell you guys about. What are the little corners of my life do you want to know about? <laughs> I think that's all I can think of, but I don't want guess since I'm on the subject of Devin and Madison, we actually recorded at the very beginning of this pandemic a who knows me better video but we did it through video chat because at the time it's when the pandemic first started and obviously no one had been quarantining because it was just happening so we did the whole thing over video and it was actually hilarious and i asked them both the same questions and we see who knew you know the answers compared to the other one which i feel like they either tied or devon won one of the two i can't quite remember. I feel like they tied. And, you know, it was going to be an awesome video. It was so funny. But for some reason, the sound didn't record at all. So it's a completely silent video, which is really unfortunate because it was it was going to be so good. It was so funny. The two of them together are just hilarious. I still have the video file. So I want to try to find some way to do something with it. So that was a bit disappointing. But I guess that's life sometimes. So I do know that I can't have them redo it though because they could cheat you know because now they know what the other is gonna say although maybe enough times pass where they won't but all right i'm not happy with how this came out it's definitely been me just rambling about my friends which sorry i'm a social person what can i say i like my friends um i think these ones are keepers I, I definitely can't see a future without them i went through a really tough time about five years ago six years ago and that's when i met a majority of them was about five or six years ago and you know they got me through a lot they're good people especially people i am closest to all right so my pumpkin is done i will show you i'm not i'm not happy with the teeth because i actually like, knocked one out when i was cutting pieces out but here is my pumpkin in all of its glory he's a bit goofy looking but you know what isn't isn't that the the, the fun of it or something thanks for listening to me ramble i definitely think it's important you know this halloween to still try to find ways to do all your traditional things i know it's been a tough year for most people so you know you just kind of got to power through and find ways to make yourself smile and maybe that's carving a pumpkin maybe that's going to a cider mill maybe that's watching some scary movies with some friends my point is is find a way to celebrate Halloween regardless of what's going on you know obviously in a safe manner <laughs> but it is still possible so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me carve this very tall pumpkin and listen to me ramble on endlessly about my friend. <laughs> uh, it wasn't quite what I had planned for this video, but you know, sometimes things don't go the way that you plan and you just kind of roll with it. That's any lesson I can give you in life. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in a few days with our last spooky monday story which i am doing a classic um it is going to be a slightly longer story but it'll still be a shorter story so i hope you guys enjoy that and i'm looking forward to that and i have a very special thursday video which is something i haven't done yet i don't want to tell you guys what that is yet because i don't want to spoil it for you so you're just gonna have to wait and see what that is <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys have been enjoying these october videos i've been putting out i've been trying to do some halloween content for you guys i know we all need some sort of distraction from the chaos that is the world so um but anyways i will see you guys in my next video Bye.